Pritchard. Any chance you're still there? Jensen, my god. You've been offline for days. Where the hell are you? I was hoping you'd tell me. I'm pinging you now. You're in... Singapore. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. This widespread defect, coming so soon after the recent riots, only raises more questions about the problem of human enhancement. Is this the beginning of a complete technological breakdown, or just another glitch in the system? This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Pike. Returning to tonight's biggest story, the World Health Organization today Access granted. You must have done something, Jensen. Four of our GPL signals just popped up, including yours. Koss, Colvin, Faraday. I'm not picking up Dr. Reed. Send me the coordinates you do have. And Pritchard, tell Sarif. I can't. While you were incommunicado, Mr. Darrow invited him, Bill Taggart, and the UN delegates to Panchea. They're halfway to the Arctic by now. Great. <laughs> Access granted.
chips replaced. Inside sources tell me that augmentation giant Ta Young Medical is scrambling to produce enough new Access grant. Access grant.
Get the hell out! This lab is off limits to you people. Nice to see you too, Dr. Goldman. What? Wait a second. I know you. You were Seraph's security guy. Way to protect our asses. Hey, check the attitude, Doc. I nearly died trying to save you. Oh, and now you're here to take me back. Well, maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I've got more here than I ever had at Seraph. Would Vasily Savchenko agree with that? They executed him and dumped his body in a ditch. That's not true! Believe it. Unless these murderers have you so brainwashed, you don't mind building their toys. It wasn't a toy. It... It was a software upgrade that limits functionalities in a biochip. They told me it was for crowd control. Is Vasily really dead? You saw the body? What was left of it? Oh my god. I should have listened to him. Dr. Colvin, I need to locate the rest of the team. But Dr. Reed's GPL isn't broadcasting. She's in the secured zone. There are guards everywhere. Then I need a way to get the guards out. A distraction. Maybe a lab accident, what do you say? After what those bastards did to Vasily? Of course. But one minor incident in this lab won't be enough. No. But if a couple of other labs go up... Simultaneously. Declan and Eric. Of course. Interesting idea, Mr. Jensen. Ambitious, but risky. The timing will be critical. I'll coordinate the attack. But you understand that this could all backfire. I'm no shrinking violet, Mr. Jensen, but... There may be another issue. They're tracking your GPLs, aren't they? I've been wondering how to get around that. Smart man. Just like Vasily. He had a plan to shut down their tracking and jamming protocols using a virus. Maybe Declan or Eric know something more about it. I haven't yet located Eric Cost, Dr. Colvin. Do you know where they're keeping him? He's working in a lab on the third floor. There's an elevator that might get you there. It's on the second floor, though, and I heard the guard say something about that floor being shut off. But then again, with those neuroenhancements of yours, you might find a way to get into it. Dr. Colvin, I need to know I can trust you. You seemed pretty happy to be here until I told you about Dr. Sevchenko. It's been six months, Mr. Jensen. Not long for you, perhaps, but how long can a person live in constant fear? Once they took us out of isolation, it just seemed easier to concentrate on the work. Did all of you feel that way? Vasily didn't. Maybe not Declan either, but the work we do here, the discussions, and the theories, I thought Seraph's projects were far-reaching, but the experiments I've seen going on here... It's the kind of stuff DARPA dreams up every day. Only without governmental oversight keeping you in line. I suppose I'm just a typical scientist to you, right, Mr. Jensen? Blindly pushing boundaries? No care for who's footing the bill or how our discoveries get made? We all have to live with ourselves at the end of the day, Dr. Colvin. You're right, of course. But were things so different in Detroit? We all know where those Seraph contracts came from, don't we? You asked me if you could trust me. You can. But you better get on with this. Dr. Faraday doesn't seem to be working in this building. Any idea where he is? I think he's in the biomech lab next door. But you don't have to go outside to reach him. There's a skywalk that connects the two buildings. Maybe you can use it. Okay, wait for my signal, Dr. Colvin. When your GPL starts to vibrate, set off the distraction. I understand. And I'm sorry for what I said earlier.
Access granted. We're working as fast as we can. This pressure you're putting on us doesn't help, you know. Just let us do our job, please. There's no need to always be looking over our shoulders and pointing guns at the backs of our heads. You don't look like the other security people. Did they call you in to deal with the smugglers? I know they've tried to enter the ranch before. You look like you could handle all of the compound security on your own. You're probably equipped with some of the projects we're working on, right? What, what do you want? I told you people not to barge in here. Wasn't the new biochip design enough? Dr. Kars, I'm here to get you out. Jensen? From Sarif? But we were told we'd been written off. Not exactly. Listen, Jensen. They forced me to work for them. I didn't want to create the new biochip, especially since it was based on Sarif's research, but they didn't give me a choice. No one doubts your loyalty, Dr. Kars. Do you know what they plan to do with this new biochip? I'm not sure. They said something about having Tai Young Medical produce it and distribute it through Lim, but I, I can't be sure. I know, and I'm here to bring you all back. But to reach Megan, I need you, Colvin, and Faraday to stage lab accidents as a distraction, simultaneously. Isn't that a little risky? Besides, how will we coordinate these accidents? Uh, it's impossible. Maybe not. But it's that or staying here and eventually ending up like Dr. Sevchenko. They killed him, didn't they? He, he kept provoking them, coming up with these wild escape plans. 
they try to keep us apart as much as possible now. All right, Mr. Jensen. I'm with you. What's our next move? We need to disable their GPL tracker. I know Dr. Sevchenko was working on something. Yes, a, a virus program. We all thought it was too risky considering we had nowhere to go. But I don't have it. You'd better check with Nia or Declan. Dr. Koss, the bioship you mentioned was based on Sarif studies? Yes, I believe so. Uh, at first I thought it was merely convergent research, but uh, I've worked with Dr. Reed long enough to recognize her handiwork. Uh, besides, I had been working on something similar back in Detroit. And your knowledge of it made you invaluable here. At least to a certain extent, uh, it probably helped us all stay alive. But now with Dr. Shevchenko, I guess we've all become expendable. Except for Dr. Reed, I suppose. Why do you say that? It's more of a general feeling, I guess. Back in Detroit, uh, we all realized that we were on the verge of something groundbreaking. And here, well, everyone seems to view her research as crucial in some way. That might explain why she's being held in a secured area. Possibly. I'm just glad we're going home. It's kind of hard to believe. Declan, right. Dr. Cost, do you have any idea where they're keeping him? I, I might. I, I overheard some of the guards. I, I think he might be working in the basement of the biomech labs. But I, I'm not sure. Sit tight, Dr. Cross. When you feel a vibration from your GPL, set off that distraction. That'll be the signal. I will. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. And hurry.
I know security seems high, but they're only here for our protection. A lot of people would kill for the technology we're developing. In a way, I, I feel really lucky to be here. When this is all done, we'll have changed the world. This isolation has really allowed me to concentrate. Plus, the facilities are second to none. I know it sounds strange, but I'd rather be here than back home. Wow. I didn't think they'd let you guys out of the high security area. We heard that a lot of the subjects weren't doing so well. But you're looking healthy. I don't think I'd have the balls to let myself be experimented on. But we seem to have no shortage of volunteers. Jensen? Good grief, lad. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. I'm here to get you out, Dr. Faraday. I told the silly that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Dr. Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day, he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. Upgrades? That do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from it. I see. Dr. Faraday, we need to free Megan from the isolation zone. I've got a plan to distract the guards. Three lab accidents. I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get near an Eric to agree. But timing them to occur at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. There's one thing you're forgetting, lad. They can track our GPL signals. I know. 
But I'm hoping you might have the solution to that problem. Sevchenko's viral program. Of course! I shouldn't have underestimated you. Vasily gave it to me before he disappeared. Here you are. Upload it onto the central security computer. It will scramble their scanners. I would have done it myself, but I'm just a scientist. Don't sell yourself short, Doc. Any idea who's behind this, Doc? The kidnapping, the facility? Not really. Remarkable, considering I've been here six months. You would have thought someone would let something slip. But if it doesn't have to do with the research, you don't get a word out of them. Sounds like the guards are well trained. But what kind of threats were needed to stop the other researchers from talking? Well, there were threats early on just to get us to work. Of course, Vasily saw right through that. Kept saying they needed us. I suppose in his case, the risk outstripped the return at some point. Damn them. Dr. Sevchenko probably knew the risks and accepted them. That he did. Go on, lad. Let's put this plan of yours into action. It's time to teach these wankers a lesson. Tell me, where do I find this security terminal? Vasily told me there's a tunnel leading to it, near the back of the compound, I believe. But I'm afraid you'll have to explore a bit to be sure. Once I upload the virus, it'll be time to act. I'll signal you. A vibration in your GPL. Be ready. Understood, lad. But do be careful. Access granted.
Access granted. Access granted.
Pritchard, are you still tracking the scientists? Of course. Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, Zhao. So. 
You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. You're creating a kill switch. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately? Let me guess. That was supposed to shut me down, right? Leave me broken and begging? The Augs were recalled! You should be offline! <laughs> Women never fail to underestimate men. You should have stayed dead, Jensen. Jaren, is that you? Not exactly. Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you! You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries, they came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't! And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David? What are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. 
But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here... Richard! Patch me into Sarath, now! Adam, please! He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sarath here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. Oh god. He's modified the control signal. Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. You never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam! I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. Access granted. Access granted. Jensen, what the hell's going on out there? Broadcast frequencies are going haywire. Malik, is that you? Where are you? Coming into visual range of Singapore now. Been in the air since Pritchard first pinged you. Good timing. 
I'm heading for a hangar bay to open the roof. I'll need an emergency extraction. Roger that. I'm on my way. Hey, Jensen! Looks like you could use some help! I see the scientist, Jensen. I'm landing nearby. And I think... Dr. Reed wants to speak to you. Hang on. Hello? Adam? We're all fine, but you have to get to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks, but you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes, and it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. Access granted. Automated systems online. Darrow sequence 1, code 1, 1A, preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination, Panchea. Begin countdown, Mr. Darrow. Begin countdown. Code, 000. Confirm, 0. Countdown commencing. 